living in Rawcliffe. It's very convenient for the centre of York. It's also an area where there are some nice walks down by the river and also if you like cycling like myself and my wife do, there are plenty of nice bicycle rides that we can do from here as well. As an area it's very quiet. Uh, we have neighbours uh, next door uh, on both sides and over the road who've lived in this area for over 40 years. Uh, so there's a great deal of stability. It's not very often houses in this little enclave come up for sale and when they do come up for sale they're usually snapped up fairly quickly. For the family and the boys it's absolutely excellent because we've got an outstanding Ofsted rated nursery uh, within a mile of the house. We've also got two local schools, plenty of places to eat and drink. Uh, there's two sort of local pubs. Uh, the local shopping as well, Clifton Moor Retail Park. We're a bit of a different concept, we're a bike shop with a vegetarian cafe in there. Uh, and it's really just to kind of, kind of bring the two together. Uh, we're located just inside the city walls, which is quite good because we get a lot of the tourists that kind of come around to York and they kind of wander down Mormway, um, which is kind of feeds in by Foscate. Uh, which is really nice to kind of see people coming down here and kind of the streets kind of completely changing because of the food places down here and stuff like that. So it's really nice, it's a really good area inside the walls to be. The reason that we chose at Warmgate was actually, it's a small world, but we wanted somewhere within the city walls and because there's so many interesting places, get so many different people as well. And Warmgate itself is, in our mind, a really up and coming area. So that a lot of development, a lot of investment over the last two or three years. It's really interesting now. It's such a historic city that whichever area we go into in York, this history goes back five or six hundred years, seven hundred years. I live and work in Fulford and have done so for about 30 years. We've got a, a local carpet shop. It's a wonderful area, nice shops, nice pubs which are very important. Very close to the A64 for access to Scarborough and to Leeds etc. Get yourself here, it's lovely. Hi, my name is Alice. I work in the Rollis Fudge Pantry on the Shambles in York. We make handmade um, fudge from the Devonshire recipe. Um, it's all made with the uh, most natural ingredients and you can actually taste it, so come down anytime for a taste. And really, every time someone comes and visits me, I have to go around the city walls because that's the best day out in York, really. We're only a quarter of a mile away from the York Outer Ring Road, uh, so that's convenient for people to get either up the A19 or round the Ring Road. Uh, we're also very close to Clifton Moor, so that's handy for people who want to shop at Tesco's and other places around there. The city centre links are pretty decent as well. It's literally four mile at max to the city centre, so 10 minute bike ride. Um, bus routes, there's a bus that goes straight from here straight to the city centre as well. So I feel really lucky to have been born in York and also live and work in York now. It's just quite an interesting different place to enjoy. We get such a variety of people coming to York now. So rather than being on the outskirts and missing a lot of it, we want to be in the centre of it. Um, so I found everyone extremely friendly, I, people are lovely. Um, coming from a big city like Brighton, such a quaint, lovely place like York was, was beautiful. I find it really, really nice here.